this place gets even better. It just so happens to be Happy Hour. It's a tropical environment, and the bar here gives the place a heart, gives it a pulse. People come, meet other people in the park, have a chat, have a couple of drinks, and sort of they get to know people in the, and they you know, stay a bit longer, and it works beautifully. You have Happy Hour here every day? We do, yeah. Awesome, so you've got a bar, cafe, a little bit of a general store in there. All the facilities for everyone. Tell us a bit about the park. We've got a couple of caravan sites too. Got a couple of them? We've got a couple of them as well. How yeah. many you got? Well, look, they're 160 plus 20 cabins, so hey, that's a few to look after. It is a few to look after. Yeah. Before you start, I know, I know, I go on about location a bit, but between the elevated looks at the rainforest and the proximity to Lake Placid, it's worth saying again. Caravan and caravan parks are about an atmosphere. So it's just, you know, get that atmosphere just right. So people come in, they want to be here and they enjoy it and they, they love where they are. That's my focus. <laughs> I was having a chat to the people behind us. They come here for three months every winter to escape Melbourne's cold, cold weather. So they're lovely, they're going to be nice. We traditionally aren't caravan people. Um, so the <coughs> adventure to do this with uh, a whole bunch of other people who are caravan people was a little bit daunting. Something that's pushed me completely out of my comfort zone and I think it's been great for both of us. Being able to ask them questions and them being really open with, I guess, information that they're giving us helped as well. I can't see us doing it forever but we will do it for as long as we can. The one thing we do worry about is when the kids get older and teenagers. Yeah, that's always an open conversation what we have with the boys as well, especially Tyler. As long as everyone's happy and everyone's loving it, we'll yeah. continue as long as we can. Every kid is different and every kid has different needs. So, you know, our kids like to know what's happening. So we, you know, make sure that they're sleeping in the same bed every night. The caravan's always the same. They've got their little space even though the world around them changes really fast like they wake up in different spots every morning almost and yeah but there's some things that just are consistent in this climate the draw card of a pool is huge when you couple it with a camp kitchen you are on a winner we certainly made the most of this area cairns as a city is as good as it gets there's you know if you can't have a good time in cairns you're not trying it is still sunny it's closed off the street <laughs> having our own little street party it's not your first rodeo, is it? 30 years in the industry. 30 years? 30 years. What did you do before that? Mate, I knew you were going to say I was a hairdresser. Were you really? Yeah, I was, yeah. 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 Well, I'll tell you what, if you've got any spare time tomorrow, <laughs> I wouldn't mind a, just to just take a little bit off the back and leave the top scruffy. Not going to make any money out of you, mate. <laughs>